Welcome families, it's G. Seth from Butterfly Garden Preschool. Today I have a story about eels. And the story is called Electrifying Eels, written by David Morgan. And we're gonna be listening to many stories written by David Morgan because I really like the way he uses a rhyming pattern and he talks about interesting animals that you don't always um, read about. So, um, let's get started. Oh, hello. We have an eel to join us in our story today. Hello, Mr. Eel. Ooh, you're a little creepy looking. All right, here we go. If you could see what the sea reveals, You could find so many electrifying eels. Eels may look like an ocean snake, but they are fish, so don't make that mistake. I really like everything about eels. Well, except eels served as hot meals. Yucky, I don't want to eat any eels. It really isn't pleasing to my eye to see a slice of squishy, squirmy eel pie. The Norse believed that mermaids tamed eels and had them as pets. Could that really be real? Going for their walkies in their dreams and ocean shadows, this is how the myth of the eel and mermaid goes. Eels are streaks of green and blue gray, swiftly switching as they wave through water with their dog-like heads lifting. Whiplashing and cutting through with eyes so bright, with over 400 species, some tiny, some long as 16 feet. What a sight. The ancient Egyptians worshiped the eel's magic power. In Europe, eels helped people find a fairy bower. In the Philippines, eels are seen as spirits in water. And in Finland, an eel can be a sea god's daughter. Eel larvae that hatch are transparent and flat. They drift like leaves on the water's surface. Fancy that. Feeding on algae, eels grow and change color, then return to streams to search for each other. In South America, electric eels swim in ponds everywhere. Their electric power can send a horse flying, so please beware. Electric eels discharge more than 600 volts of electricity. But most eels are nocturnal, so breathe easy and count yourself lucky. Eels are ambush predators, so keep a lookout. Insects, fish, frogs, and crabs when an eel is about. Eels range in color from black or dark gray to multicolored and even bright yellow as sunlight on hay. Eels can live for 70 years, maybe more in captivity, and survive out of water for short times of activity. Some eel species travel over 4,000 miles indeed, racing across oceans through tons of seaweed. These elongated fish can be light or heavy, weighing from 30 grams to 30 kilograms, you see, with winning ways, athletic ability, and doggy face. Eels make this world a more electrifying place. The end. I wanted to tell you a few other things about eels. Hopefully you listened to the story and learned a lot of information, but I have a couple other things that I'd like to share. Eels have slimy mucus all over their bodies so that when they're slithering in and out of rocks or around the coral and the coral reefs, they don't get their bodies scratched. Something else that's really interesting about eels is that they have poor eyesight, which means they can't really see well. So when divers go down to explore the ocean and try to uh, feed the eels, sometimes the eels nibble on their fingers. Yikes. Um, baby eels are called elvers. That's an interesting little tidbit. And then the last thing I want to share with you is that um, Sometimes uh, eels are called electric eels. So there are eels that have electric, can give electrical shock. 
So you know how your mommy and daddies plug in uh, lamps or lights or motorized things into the sockets because that there's an electrical charge there. Well, eels give off um, an electrical charge that is way stronger than your electrical sockets in your home. I hope you have enjoyed learning about this really interesting and unique animal called the eel. I love reading stories and, and presenting um, unique and interesting animals that sometimes uh, kids are not exposed to. So if you'd like to continue to follow us, remember to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button and to support our future uh, stories and lessons on YouTube. Thank you so much for joining us.